trying to understand why it is difficult for you to believe that God created you and the apes and all the animals you have there. I understand you know about genomes and genes and mutations and combinations of those. But one thing you're forgetting is that we all have a common ancestor. You said it, but I'm reminding you, we have a common ancestor or a common origin. And that origin is God. We all originated from God. Now, every car made by GM has a GM logo. Every car made by Honda has a Honda logo. Every car made by BMW has a BMW logo. Now, one can argue that a 2013 Honda Accord has some features or shares some similarities with a 2003 Honda Accord. That would be true. But people like you will say that 2003 Honda Accord evolved from two that 2013 Honda Accord evolved from 2003 Honda Accord. Well, if you're using the term loosely, I'll let you go with that. But listen, 2013 Honda Accord is made from scratch. All the metals were smelted, all were melted, and formed into different parts from scratch. No part of Honda Accord 2003 decided one day that he wants to, or it wants to become a 2013 Honda Accord. No. But the makers decided that this feature will be carried on. That's why when you see some generation of cars, maybe two years or three years, the features on the external will look the same. But after a few years, they will change a few things. They will modify a few things. But this is in the dis discretion of the makers, not the discretion of the cars. In other words, it wasn't by accident. It was by choice. It was by design. So whether God decided to match the chromosomes or not, it's really up to him. And listen, you didn't even decide if you're going to have 23 pairs of chromosome or 24 pairs of chromosome or 15 pairs of chromosome or 3 pairs of chromosome. No. You just found out that those were the way it is. Your argument did not create nor diminish the chromosomes. You just found that it was there. Do you get what I'm talking about? So, whether we have the same ancestors or not, the same, the same similarities, that's not the argument. The argument here is that there's a creator who made you in his image and likeness, and he loves you so much that he wants to save you. He doesn't want you to go to hell because the devil is deceiving so many people and many people will end up in hell. You know what I tell people? What if there is no God? What if there is no God? And you have lived your life the way you've lived your life and you die and you open your eyes in another life and behold, there is no God. Good luck with that. If you have lived a good life, People here will remember you. They will immortalize you. They will talk about you. They will idolize you. They will not be like you. But hey, there's no God. So, well, that's the end. But wait a minute. What if you wake up and there is a God? And you have lived your life as if there's no God. And he says to you, hey, there is another place. It is called hellfire, where all those who didn't believe in God are going to stay for all eternity. Would you wish you had an opportunity to come back and change and give your life to Christ? Think about it. Now, I'm not preaching a gospel of, of threats, you know, trying to make you afraid and because of that, believe in God. No. God is love and God is just. God wants everyone to find him. Scripture says, he says, seek me and you will find me. So, you seek for something you don't know where it is. If something is missing, you seek it. If some, something is where you don't even know where it is, you look for it, you search for it. You ask about it. If you don't know, you don't know. You're ignorant. So, you don't know there is a God. How about claim ignorance? How about 
kneel down in secret where nobody sees you and say Lord Jesus this guy on YouTube says there is Jesus Christ this guy on the internet this guy on video somewhere say there is Jesus Christ if you are real please show yourself to me if you are real make yourself known to me just do that in secret let nobody know just do it in secret Bible says if you do it in secret he will reward you openly anyone that seek him in secret anyone that goes after him in secret he says he will reward it openly do it in secret don't let anybody know after all we all do things in secret we don't let people know why can't you do this this is about your life do it in secret don't let your colleagues know don't let your parents know don't let the people that pay you know don't let the people that pay that put you on payroll you know the people that write the checks that make you go and talk 